Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be very different than the usual and that is because I have gotten a lot of requests to answer a few questions and a lot of the questions uh, have been repeated over and over by different people so I thought today would be a good opportunity to answer some of those questions. I'll go down the list and then I'll list all the questions uh, in the in description below as well so um, if the video is too long, you can just go ahead and click there and go straight to the, the point that you're interested in and then skip the rest because, you know, <laughs> a lot of people don't like long videos. Anyway, uh, we'll start with the first one and this is actually one of the questions that get asked very, very often and that is, I don't have a lot of space. What can I do or what kind of pepper plants can I grow that would produce a ton of peppers for me to use? And uh, there are actually a lot of peppers that will produce a lot in very small spaces. And uh, let me give you an example. Here is my bonsai pepper plant. And I created this pepper plant from a full size plant. And basically what I did was uh, I took a very large uh, pepper tree and then I cut it down and then I propagated the trunk. So that is why the trunk of this pepper plant is like a size of, a, of a, a marker, but it's very nice and short. And look at all these peppers that it can produce. So there are many different types of pepper plants that will produce this much, even in small containers. And I'll give you a few, like a lot of the Thai varieties, um, anything that has uh, smaller leaves, and they usually grow in clusters. Uh, the Thai dragon, uh, just the standard Thai peppers, those are great to grow in small containers and they will produce a lot of peppers for you. And again, this is my white Thai and these things produce so much pepper. All you need is one plant and uh, the entire seasons you will have peppers. Okay, so that uh, are some of the uh, the few varieties that will produce a ton and there's other ones like Pekin you know they're I mean they're they're small peppers but they produce a ton of peppers so uh, those are some of the kind I mean there's other super hots too if I go down the list and name them all uh, it'll probably take um, forever so um, uh, start with the Thai varieties because uh, those are the easiest to grow and they will produce a lot for you and if you are interested in some of the, the hotter varieties, um, uh, like some of the Scotch Bonnet Habanero, those produce uh, quite a ton. So uh, start with those. Okay, so we'll move on to the next question. All right guys, the next question is, uh, what size containers should I use if I choose to grow them in pots? And that is sort of a very difficult uh, question to answer because it could be so many different reasons. Uh, one of the reasons would be uh, the type of plants that you're growing. So this is my white Thai varieties and this is a five gallon. So a certain type of uh, Thai peppers or anything that have small leaves like this, you can grow them in five gallon buckets and they would do just fine. And for those like these here, this, this is a Reaper. And this is one of my Scotch Bonnet Cross. And look at that one. This one here is five feet tall. So those, and then here's my Bahamian Goat here. And so is that one over there. So a lot of the super hots or the hotter varieties or the one that has large, large leaves, they can grow pretty massive so the larger the containers the bigger they will grow the smaller the container the smaller they can they can remain so there's really uh, not um, sort of like a rule that you should grow a certain varieties in a certain size container but just know that if you allow the plant to grow to its full potential by giving it a larger container then you would get bigger plants better yield and all that stuff so smaller container will reduce the amount of yield and the size of the plants and that's not always the case because some plants 
just can grow nicely in small containers and they will stay smaller so um, in general larger plants uh, like the super hot put those in uh, five to ten gallons containers larger if you can um, the smaller ones like the Thai varieties here you can put them into three to five and those should be good all right guys next question is should I plant my pepper plants in containers or in the ground and uh, you can do both if you choose uh, and the reason for that too much sun all day long like I live in Texas here and in the middle of summer these plants would not do well so I have to plant them in pots and with planting them in pots you can just pick it up and then relocate them when the condition is too extreme for them when you grow them in the ground they just have to be there and regardless of how crazy the condition is they just cannot be moved so that's one of the reason um, uh, because you can move it easily and another reason is because of the extreme heat of uh, certain areas so if you if you live in uh, the tropic go ahead and plant those in the ground because those are the best way to do it so here are some potted plants they're doing just fine let me show you the plants that I grow in the ground alright guys here is my plant in the ground and, and as you can see look how massive this plant is and that is because they can move around freely with uh, you know the roots extending everywhere and they get all the spaces they need so they will grow very very large and uh, the larger the plant of course the smaller uh, the more they produce so that is a good uh, reason why you should plant in the ground but uh, here this plant did not produce for me early on in the season because the weather was too extreme we get like 98 99 all the way up to 105 temperature so the plants just struggle the entire time and it didn't produce fruit until the, the, the weather start to to drop so uh, that is the difference uh, in ground uh, they cannot be moved uh, the advantage is that if the condition is right they will grow like crazy and produce a lot uh, in pots you can just pick them up and move them around but within uh, plants that are within the pots they're very limited to uh, the space so if they reach their capacity they will not grow any larger and also in pots you would have to uh, provide the condition that they need like uh, if, uh, if they're depleted of nutrients you have to feed the nutrients and if you feed too much everything get collected in the, the pot and they become concentrated and the plants would would struggle so you know when you grow in pots it's, it's, it's you have to do certain things different and uh, in the ground uh, you just feed it and then if uh, there's too much fertilizer or, or something like that uh, uh, you know you can just water and dilute it and then it'll just run off somewhere else and the plant won't struggle as much so you have to take that into consideration when you grow in pots you have to do everything uh, more carefully than in the ground so uh, that is um, some of the reasons of course there are more all right guys the next question is how much water should I give my plant and normally when when this question comes along I it's really difficult for me to answer because it really depends I mean it depends on on where you are the conditions how hot it is how quickly the the soil dries up and all that stuff so for that I'm just gonna answer with how to water your plant properly so that it would do well so pepper plants do love water but if too much water is uh, present at all time at the roots they're going to struggle so uh, let me show you a proper way to to water and to, uh, to sort of like to manage uh, the plants better so when you water your plant you want to give it a thorough water okay and give it a nice thorough water so that the water would soak into the soil and then it would drain out to the bottom of your pots and that is how you should water your plants and then don't water again until uh, the soil becomes more dry and uh, or if the plants need it so if you do that every day that's not going to work well for the plants because the root is always wet you know they're they're living things so just imagine if you stay in the pool for a long time your skin is going to start to wrinkle so 
don't water too often just water just that much have everything thoroughly wet and then let it drain out and then don't water again until the soil becomes dry or if you see that the plant uh, becomes droopy and in order to tell how dry the soil is you can just you know come by and and, and kind of give you a bucket a lift because if it's too light that means it needs to be water or if you go around and you see the corner of the rim if the soil uh, section here separates from from the rim section here that's because the soil is real dry and becomes compacted and that's when you need to water uh, but do that before that happens so the best way is just go by and then you know sort of like judge how, by how heavy your container is and it's very very easy to tell um, I usually don't wait until the peppers become stressed I mean you could there's a lot of people that that uh, stress their pepper plants out on purpose because they say that it would cause the pepper to produce hotter or more or spicier fruits uh, for me I never stress my pepper plants out I don't believe in that method because a happy pepper plants will produce happy fruits and it would taste better so uh, uh, you know, wait until the soil is dry, but don't wait until the plant is all droopy and, you know, like in desperate need of water uh, before you give it some water. <laughs> Just don't, don't, don't stress it out. I mean, unless you want two or three fruits per plant. You know, there's, there's a lot of, um, I watch a few videos of guys that uh, uh, curse their pepper plants out or whatever. And when I look at the peppers, they're like two fruits in the entire plant. And that's, you know, that all leads to um, you stressing it out so it can't produce so if you want happy plants that produce a lot make sure you treat your peppers well all right guys i think that should be good for now for those questions uh, i may do more if you guys have more requests in the future for this type of videos 